Uh, I'm Gary Borley, and I have, um, I'm a, I've got a learning disability, and I'm an epileptic, and I have mild autism. I have been in the self-advocacy movement since 1982, and was a founder of the People First movement in the UK when it began in September 1984. I am a campaigner with learning difficulties and I do civil rights and human rights in the disability movement. I actively support the rights of people with learning difficulties and I promote change. My work began when I, when I started to challenge day centres, supported by, by John Hurst of, of Mencap. Everyone started to speak freely without getting into trouble. But people with learning difficulties were scared. Service providers, parents and carers had a lot of power. After being at the first International People First Conference in Seattle, in USA, in 1984, I set up People First and L London and Thames. I was president for four years. I didn't want to be chairperson, I want to be a president. <laughs> uh, I wanted to follow what was in America, of course. <laughs> and... During that time, I, I was still on benefits, but used my money to pay for envelopes, stamps, writing paper, and, and I had written over 400 letters, four pages long. I was determined to see other self-advocacy groups set up around the UK. I was then employed by People First London and Thames as their first employee in 1988. In the same year that they had their first international conference, I supported and set up People First Norfolk in 1992 and worked for Bristol and District People First in 2000 as a training and development officer. I do get about. <laughs> also, in 1988, I was the, te the television presenter of Life of Our Own for the BBC, a 10-part series about the lives of people with learning difficulties. I also did... Um, I was also a reporter for the Link program in the 1990s, and I've uh, done various radio programs. Oh, sorry about this, my hands are getting all... <laughs> a, it's not nerves, it's, I, it's... I just finished working in Leeds for Inclusion North in December 2012 to return to Kent to be near my family family where I live now. It's gorgeous really, on the East Kent coast. Not far from Margate, where only fools and horses were, did all their filming. Didn't see Dale Boy. This is, this is where I started People First England um, with my colleague and co-founder Callia. Uh, she's from the Wirral not far from Liverpool. We have had a lot of success in the past year. People with learning difficulties always had, have had a profession, professionals and organizations speaking on their behalf. And this, is, this what has not always been effective enough to change people's lives for the better. Self-advocacy is patch, patchy across the country and has been weakened in recent years due to the cutbacks. There is no strong voice of people with learning difficulties in the media or politics. 
People are afraid to campaign in case they, in case they lose their funding for their self-advocacy groups. This is why Kelly and myself have created People First England with the help of many individuals and organisations and, and have spent one year understanding what is needed and what works. We are listened to. We, we went to two party conferences and met with senior pol party politicians last year. We got into the national media for the BBC News, Channel 4 News, and The Guardian. We gave responses on, the, on these issues in the Bub Report, Assisted Dying, National Audit Office Review of Winterbourne View Program. We worked with Inclusion North to produce an easy read guide for voting. Over the next year, I am hoping to get more self-advocates in the media and in politics speaking for up for themselves. I also want to help strengthen local self-advocacy groups. There are, we're trying to get more and more people with learning difficulties voting at the general elections. And at the moment, we're getting people with learning difficulties turned away from polling stations. We want m people with learning difficulties to vote at those, those, those elections. <coughs> we have a, also, I've got to mention, we're, People First England are also part of a, a organization called the LDA, Learning Disability Alliance. And we want more people to join that force to help promote change. On that, we've got a web, we've got, they've got a website. If you go onto that website, they will tell you the 50 wrongs that have been happening through the last government. Over three million people with learning disabilities do not get to, to vote. I want people to sign up to, to, to the LDA. And I'll get some questions. What about ATUs? ATUs, we've had yeah, assessment treatment units, that's it. Um, well, we've had a lot of people with learning difficulties dying in these assistance treatment use units. And only last week, one, of, one um, child died in this assess, assessment treatment unit. And he's called Thomas. He had learning disability, severe learning disabilities and autism. And only last week, they've only turned off his life support system. And there's been other cases like that where we have had people with learning difficulties that have soiled themselves in these assessment treatment units. And these people were not treated with dignity and respect. The staff said they were too busy to, to, to cope with it all. We've had another guy called Connor who died a lot, a lot, a, about a couple years ago from, from being, not being fed, fed you know, for, for as well. And a lot of them, a lot of these people, we, we got about over dozens of people who died in these assessment treatment units. And they're still open. Assessment treatment units are stem from big institutions, long stay hospitals. And we need to see them closed. We want people with learning difficulties back, back in the community. And that's where people need to be supported. We need more independent living housing, supported living housing. We need to see more changes in that way. We need want more people with learning difficulties in the media. We need people with learning difficulties who can be in the, in the political system. Hopefully, can make a change. See, we want 
people with learning difficulties become MPs. We want to see more of that happening. We want to be inclusive into the community. We want to be, we want to say, nothing about us without us. Anybody else got any questions? Yeah. <laughs> well, we we try to not say a handicap because <laughs> yeah, because um, we try to make sure we don't use things like mental handicap because it's offensive word. And um, and um, what a lot a lot of people do not know understand that they have a disability as well, and they probably don't want to talk about it, and that's the trouble in this society and we we live in today, and we don't promote disability rights. We need to promote more in the disability rights movement. Uh, but as I say, we, do, we need more people in to make change in policies and make things happen in, and then we can be inclusive. It's to get more people with learning difficulties and people with autism elected through Parliament. And that's how we're going to make change. <laughs>